All right, in this video, I'll be talking about other set operations that we not did not cover before, but it's important to do these because there's more to set theory, the operation than union and intersection and things like that, but it's just, it's just important to know this. Um, let's suppose we have the set 7, 3, 5, and 9 for A, and then in set B, we have 7, 4, and 6. Those are those would be the elements. Now, there's something called what is the, called the complement or the set difference. They're used interchangeably. They mean the exact same thing. So what the, what the set difference is, it's, it's, um, it's what elements are in B which are not in A. It's with respect to the first, the first uh, set in question. It's sort of, it, a simpler way to look at it is you're sort of taking like the reverse of the intersection. Elements that are one of them but not in both. So it's just like the reverse of the intersection. So um, we have 3, 4, 5, 6, and 9 because 3 appears in just set A. 4 appears in just set B, 5 appears in just set A, 6 just B, and then uh, 9 just A. Now, 7 appears in both, so it's not part, part, part of the uh, complement or the set difference. So uh, it's the intersection of the two sets. It's like, the re it's, again, you can sort of think of it as the reverse. Now, basically, the more formal definition is, you know, X is X for B relative to A, X is a member of B, and it's not a member of A. I mean, if we, we could have technically rewritten as A relative to B, and then this would be A, this would be a B, but this is just like a more formal definition of um, what, what a complement is. And so then we have, let's suppose, we, now there's also something called power sets. Now power sets we sort of briefly touched on when we talked about continuum hypothesis. The, like when we talked about the greater cardinality when you raise something to a power and a left knot and the cardinality of uh, real numbers things like that. Now it's um, good to, you know, get a familiar, uh, more familiar with the power set. So it's not just more of a, an intuitive approach, but now you actually understand why it's, uh, why the, why the continuum hypothesis, uh, there's no like, uh, like, uh, no def definitive cardinality for, you know, infinite sets and things like that. Um, so it can be written as, you know, two to the set letter, like this is set T, so it's two to the T and it can also be written as P, uh, parentheses. Now there are other ways to write it, but I think these two are just you know used more common. I I think so. I mean that's all I've seen. So basically, you're taking all the possible combinations you can with this set. Like what sub what family of subsets can you make from this set? Now it's important to know it's 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 by subsets I mean subsets are equal to. It's this. You have, you think that the the sub the subset are equal to not not the, as opposed to the strict subset. Which, which cannot be equal to, but we'll touch on that later. So here we have the empty set because the empty set is also a possible subset of T. Then we have three, 10 and nine, and then we have three, three, nine, 10, nine. Now there's no, if, if there's no need to repeat the numbers just because they're not, they're written three, 10, you could have written this at 10, three, but at the same time, you don't write it again as the opposite the, the ordered pairs switch like the X and Y position. They, they're only written once. And then you also have three, 10 and nine. Now, this again is a, a subset because we, it's a subset or equal to. That's that's what that's why not just a strict subset. That's why we include these this this the entire uh, three ten and nine as a possible subset of set T. It's like when we sort of talked about partial functions and we talked about how if x prime is is equal to x and it's a total function. This is sort of is you know kind of just like that. I and mean, we sort of talked about this before. So. And the other set of operations we have is, you know, set difference, and we also have power sets. And um, we'll, uh, you know, go over the continuum hypothesis one more time, make sure we really have it down. And um, that will be, I think, uh, all, all of, all of, well, most, well, yeah, all the videos for the basic, like, you know, typical set theory. Then I'll briefly talk about uh, other set theory. There's, like, fuzzy set theory, which is uh, very different. Well, not very, but it, at a fundamental level, it's different than the set theory that's been talked about here. I guess that's all for this video, though. Just, just, just remember there's set differences, which is like sort of the opposite of the intersection. Just think of it as all the elements that are in one but not both. And it's relative from one set to the other. B relative to A means it's the elements in B and not in A. And then if it was A here and B here, then this, this would be an A and that would be a B. But that's the, fo the formal definition of the... Um, complement or a set difference. You can use them interchangeably in the exact same thing. A power set is all the possible combinations 
of all of the entire uh, family of subsets that can be derived from a given set. Um, so yeah, that's all for this video. Um, so I guess hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next one.